One of our goals on this show is to let you know what the fuck your stupid uncle is babbling about before he even starts babbling about it. To disambiguate the lie du jour of the Christian right so that you're not caught entirely off guard. Well, the latest rant that Fox News is going to implant in your stupid uncle is the idea that the State Department is promoting atheism. And we actually talked about the inciting incident on this over a year ago on Skeptocrat, but here's the actual story, right? So the State Department has a branch called the Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights, and Labor, which is tasked with, according to their mission statement, bolstering democracy, promoting accountability, upholding internationally recognized labor standards, and advancing the rights and equity of, quote, members of marginalized racial, ethnic, and religious communities, indigenous persons, persons with disabilities, and LGBTQI plus persons, end quote. So you can already see why it's in the Christian rights crosshairs, right? Anyway, back in 2021, that bureau publicly offered $500,000 in grants to groups, quote, promoting and defending religious freedoms inclusive of atheists, humanists, non-practicing and non-affiliated individuals, end quote. Which is a big deal, right? This is foreign aid money that was meant to go to some of the many places where very often apostasy can merit a death sentence or otherwise heinously abrogated person's rights. Now, Notice the wording here, right? Because this is this is important. The grants were to support groups that were, quote, promoting and defending religious freedom that includes dot, 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 all these different terms for atheism, right? That's entirely different than promoting atheism. But that's too subtle a distinction for the GOP's cultural warrior leaders, or more accurately, it's too subtle a distinction for those leaders to assume their constituency is going to notice, So about a year later, this Republican congressman first sees this shit. He starts accusing Biden's State Department of promoting atheism abroad. Specifically, Indiana Representative Jim Banks sent a letter to Secretary of State Antony Blinken demanding to know why the State Department had, quote, used appropriated funds to support atheism and radical progressive orthodoxy across the world, end quote. That that radical orthodoxy, presumably, being not murdering people for leaving their dad's religion. In the letter, Banks says that the Bureau's actions would, quote, be analogous to official State Department promotion of religious freedom, particularly for Christians in China, end quote. But it wouldn't, right? Like The analogy, given the actual fucking wording in the notice of funding opportunity, would be to official State Department promotion of religious freedom inclusive of Christians in China which the State Department does all the fucking time. Friend of the show, Hemet Mehta, did a pretty extensive write-up on this on his Substack, where he cited numerous examples of this very same bureau offering funding up specifically to Christian minorities, Muslim minorities, and Hindu minorities, as though they're promoting religious freedom regardless of the religion. Which is, of course, according to my math, a prerequisite to promoting religious freedom. Now, for their part, the State Department didn't bother to respond officially to Banks' stupid fucking letter because they recognized it to be the publicity stunt that it was. But that prompted more asshole Republicans to jump on board with the accusation. In February of this year, chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Mike McCall, sent another letter with the same spurious accusations, the same twisted logic and the same demands for disclosure. And look, th- that sounds like a reasonable request, right? Congress wants to know where the taxpayer's money is going. That's kind of their job. Except in this case, as you'll recall, the money was earmarked for groups that were promoting atheist inclusivity in places where that shit can get you killed. Like, you know, there there, there just might be some reason not to publicly divulge this information other than a secret plan to turn the rest of the world into fucking godless commies. But despite the risk of disclosure, the State Department did ultimately respond to McCall by basically saying, "Okay, fine, here you go. Just don't, you know, put this information in a press release for the whole world to see. So they put it in a press release for the whole world to see. Specifically, he named Humanist International as a recipient, possibly the only recipient. We don't know. And Humanist International, I guess, passed the money along to affiliated groups in Nepal and Sri Lanka, which McCall also mentioned, up to and including some details of a training meeting in Kathmandu that definitely should not have been publicized. Basically, he risked the lives of atheist activists to score some political points with a misrepresentation of the State Department's actions and a misrepresentation of what religious freedom even fucking means. Because here's the thing. Throughout this press release, McCall tries to tarnish Humanist International by pointing out that they work with groups that promote atheism. He specifically mentions the American Humanist Association and American Atheists. These are groups that he says, quote, often take actions which are antithetical to the idea of religious freedom, end quote. 
to be clear, when he says that, he means stuff like trying to keep mandatory prayer out of schools and religious displays off of public property. Actions which are precisely and exactly, I don't know, fucking thetical to the idea of religious freedom. Right? They are religious freedom. That's what the term means no matter how many times you try to redefine it. Because because here's the bug in their logical program. They cannot see the difference between promoting the freedom of atheists and the denigration of their religion. To them, that's the same thing. I mean, yes, all the other religions also preclude the truth of their faith, right? But they do it from a place of equal bullshit. Atheism threatens Christianity in a far more fundamental way because atheism is true. And promoting that truth necessarily threatens the religion in a way that no other religion could. But despite their legitimate fears and their illegitimate logic, it is perfectly possible to be an atheist without being an atheist at them. I mean, I don't do that, but other atheists do. A lot of other atheists. Most other atheists. But atheists are like the quiet guy at the party, right? They're a place to project all your insecurities. They're a place to put all your doubts. They're a conclusion that you fear. And so when you correct your stupid uncle and tell him that the State Department isn't promoting atheism, they're promoting religious freedom, which necessarily includes atheism, don't expect him to understand the difference.